All right, video number, well, it'd be three, wouldn't it? Because we did a part two. This yeah. is our ritual. We eat greasy shit before we go slay the discs. Uh -uh. What does Brody say? Keep, Keep slaying? slaying them discs. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> All right, here we are. We are back. Uh, we're trying a different course today. Okay, so he's just going to keep walking away. Thank you guys so much for all the love on the other videos that we've gotten out so far. Taking some criticism. Uh, I got a different camera for you guys. I got a different mic, so hopefully you won't hear me breathing as much because, you know, it gets hot out here, and your boy, it's no secret that I'm not small. This course has long tees and short tees, some long baskets, short baskets, so we're going to play long tees, long baskets. Hole one, 250 feet. Every course or every par hole three. here is a par three, isn't it? No. We oh, we got some, yeah, we got some distance here. holes today. Let's get it. Yeah, so get to show off away. how big our penises are. First hole, get a breakfast disc. Throw two discs off the first tee. Yeah, we forgot to mention that last time. We throw two discs off the first tee. All right, there's this nice little follow-through fake. Shout out James Conrad. How many times are you going to shout out people in these videos? Hey, until I get noticed. Buzz. <laughs> For all you disc golf people out there, since we know that there are people okay, out there. Okay, I get it. You don't have to rub it in. Oh, sorry. Smack the tree. Oh, and I've yanked it. Get stable. Well, it went through the tree, so you're not looking that bad. Lift it out right a little bit. Looks really good. All right, so this is, I'm going to do something a little funky right here, okay? we got to take risks on this channel. Uh, I'm going to throw a forehand because I am the forehand king. Can I get it to go left and then swing back right? Ooh. You ready for this? Risky business. Risky business. All right, here we go. He's done exactly what he said, just not enough left. Not enough. Into the tree. And it looks like it may have stayed in the tree, folks. All right, see if we can run this in. We're about 35 foot from the from the chains. And he runs it in for a birdie. Not see, my man's on point today. He's got, all right, yeah, run it in, run it in. There you go. Yeah, that is not an easy putt to make. Again, super proud cousin moment. All right, here we are coming up on. You just on. one from 35 out for birdie. Sorry. So you drop one under, first hole. One under, first hole. You know I can't putt. This is fast. Yeah, 21 foot here. We get a good angle here. We got to see this bang it in. Uh-oh. Go ahead. All right, here we are. Hole number two. Brock went one down, and I stayed even. So Brock's already beat me by one. He had that nice little 35 foot birdie putt. Uh, hole two is 384, so it's a par four, so you get to see us kind of chuck them a little bit. We didn't really get to do that the last course. Ben's down to the right, so I'm going to try to go out left, bring it back right. All right, see what you can do with it. Did it get hung up in the trees? I lost it in the shadow. Right. It went it went just under the big tree in the middle, kicked off these trees. Should be right in the middle of the fairway. Hell yeah, look at you, man. Already looking good. How you feeling? <laughs> We're gonna start this again. <laughs> you already know what I'm doing. Not forehand master. Uh oh. Forehand. Tried to look cool. Did you see that? And you've seen it come down right Whoa. there on the right side. Both of us should be right in the fairway, so. Listen, we're fucking good. Decided. People don't know, okay? They, they think, you know, we're just casuals out here. I am. But you bought a membership to play professionally. So you can go make some money if you want to. I could. I'll play in my little C-tier tournament. Just trying to get a little better, trying to figure out some more shots. I'll just be his caddy because I can't do shit. This is how we do it. Whoever loses the hole has to carry the backpack. So that's how we do it. Just kind of give us a little initiative to try to win the hole against each other. He knows he's going to beat me, so I always but, so carry. Therefore, I get to carry, the, I don't have to carry the backpack all the time. And I got to carry the but camera bag too. Walking up on, uh, right, yep. on Crip's disc here, we're inside of 100. I hit the tree. And it drops straight down, folks. Ah! All right, so he's gonna pull out his putter right here. He's about 25 foot in front of my throw. And uh, he said he's gonna run this. So we're looking at about a 50 foot putt here. I don't know if he can run this or not. Ah, left it down and left, but it's an easy layup. He's gonna go back to back birdies to go two under. I'm definitely gonna miss this one. Honestly, can I just pick it up and give me a par? All right, cool. That's not how this works. Just make it for birdie. If I pick it up and give you a par, then you don't have ever have a chance at birdie. Aren't you glad that I didn't give you that par? Honestly, no. Listen, that's the only putt you guys are ever going to see me make, so let's fucking get it. All right, here's Brock for his birdie putt. If he misses this, we tie. All right, drains it, and Brock goes to two under. I go to one under. We're going on over to number three. All right, I've never been here before, so I'm like completely confused. I hope he doesn't leave me because I would get lost immediately. <laughs> Take a walk here. Cause this is one that's got two two baskets. So. Every single hole has two tee boxes. There's an A and a B. 
uh, the B is the long ones, right? Or A is the long ones? Uh, it just depends. Not every T box, uh, not every hole has an A and a B. Just some. Uh, just to kind of give it a little. Jesus Christ, this place is confusing. Yeah, it is very confusing. We're not Jomez Pro and Par Save, so we don't have the flyovers like everybody else. So we just walk and show you guys. Yeah, we both have drones. Why the fuck have we not brought we them out? We both do have drones, but I don't fly mine, and I'm not flying it through here. If I can't throw a disc through it, I definitely can't fly a drone through <laughs> it. But uh, if you look down through there, you see the short basket here on the side hill. We're actually going to the very far basket down by the tree, uh, like, just outside the shade there. Far basket down there. So we're looking right here. Like I said, uh, it is a Par Four. So we're at the BT pad, it's a par four, and it's 435. We gotta swing it down around. Uh, this would be a really fun shot right here. Oh, I went way out right. All right. So he left it left. It was, you couldn't see it, it was, his body was hiding yeah. it the whole time. Ah, it came out nose up. Fuck. All right, so Brock ended up under this tree right here. Basket's right down there. It's the far basket over there, not this close one. Always getting a nice little flyer out there. So not that bad of a shot from where he was at. He had a pretty tough window. I almost threw it straight into the wrong basket. Just a little out of position, but still got a chance to run it. Help him. Drops it right under the basket. That's fine. Sit down. All right, left it out, left a little bit. We're both gonna end this hole with a par right here. Brock will remain at two. He just threw his little <laughs> marker right there. Brock's gonna remain at two under. I'm gonna remain at one under, and we're gonna move on over to the fourth hole. I lied. I thought we were a little closer, and they were both gonna be gibbies. And uh, I think Brock's a little closer than I am. He should be able to tap his in. Yeah, easy tap in for him. But I am about 15 to 20 out, and these are the worst fucking putts in the world for me to try to hit. Let's get it. Maybe they weren't. Let's gibbies. get it. All right, so we both, uh, like I said earlier, I'm still at one under, finished with par right there. Brock goes to two under still. All right, moving on up to hole number four, we got a par three, it's 220. Uh, it is just around this tree right here. All right, it's gonna fade out left a little bit. As long as I went through that tree, I should be okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. He's done it, folks, but he's in the way. Oh, my bad. I have no idea where it's at. I, it, he was in the, the way. The tree and fell it, straight down. It may be a blessing in disguise because it was probably going probably Listen, 50 man, or 60 long. I have no long. control. I just grip it and rip it. So. Grip it and rip it, yeah. I just throw shit at it because I'm, I'm a very strong man. Sometimes I just throw him 600 feet. It, just, it is what it is, man. Oh, he's going down on the knee. You can see the basket right there just around the corner of this tree or the edge of this tree. Not really a corner on a rounded tree, but. <laughs> oh, God. He's pulled it. It gets a little, little toasty out here. It is a little toasty out here. No wind. It's cooking. 85 degrees, but there's no wind. So it's just a straight 85. Where the other day we were playing, it was 94, but there was a little wind, so it felt like 85. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a little toasty. Got sweat dripping down my fingertips. We don't have a towel. So I'm gonna blame everything on my finger slipping, so. I light it up left, and that's gonna be a solid, easy tap in par putt. Rock will remain two under through four. Uh, my disc is right here in this tree. Nice little tap in for par. Yeah, I just, I stayed in the tree here. You know, I love nature, so that's, that's the point. Oh man, that went straight left out of my hand. Pretty much sweat is on my fucking hand right now. Literally no exaggeration, the amount of sweat on my hands. But I also suck at putting, so that helps. Folks, I just found the best thing ever at a disc golf course. A park bench under a tree all right rolling up on number five right here this is uh brox this is probably one of the hardest holes on this course i'm gonna take a stupid route just because who cares this is little gap in this early tree here yeah and i'm gonna try to a small little I'm gap right there bring it right and let it hyzer back to the middle past all that crap my man he's just fucking big dicking it all right let's see what you gotta do right here I've lost it in the sky. Oh uh, yeah, I actually went just right in that gap. Like I said, huh? I should be just on the left of the fairway. Just oh, so you did what you wanted tree. to do. All right, well, uh, I can't do anything like that because I can't throw it like he does. And there's this nice little victory dance that he likes to do. All right, I'm, I'm gonna keep it low. I'll try to go under the tree and get it as far up down the middle as I can. And he's done just that, folks. I don't know if you get much better than that. Listen, they call me the forehand king for a reason. Okay, it wasn't a self-proclaimed nickname. Okay, they gave it to me. Okay, right, right there at the Dairy Queen. At the Dairy Queen. Yeah, at the Dairy Queen. You heard her. 
didn't really work out. I'm supposed to go right. You so. know, I'm making a lot of excuses for somebody that really sucks at disc golf. All right, so Brock threw it up here a little bit further than I did. It was hanging in the tree right here. But we're looking right here at a uh, about a 70 footer uphill. Leaves it out right. Banks off that tree, but you know, he's still about 20 out. I think he can make it though. He's pretty good at those. And he's probably gonna lose as many right there in the woods. Oh yeah, I, I just threw mine in the worst possible spot, right in between two trees. Ah. It's right. it's out, but it's not in. That's yeah, that's a good out. He's gonna leave it just short and to the right, and that will be his par tap in. So it looks like Brock's gonna remain <laughs> two under, and then I'm gonna tap that in for the par putt, and then we're gonna move on over. I'm still at even Brock's at two under through five. Not a bad day, not a bad day. Nah. Just a couple of minor mishaps, and I think we'll be pretty golden. It's the first time we, well, his first time he's been out here. I've been out here once, so just trying to get familiarized with the course. He don't really know where you can miss, you know. Anybody yeah, I'm just throwing it where he tells me to throw it, so he could completely mind fuck me if he wanted to. Up to number six right here, another par three. It's a decently long par three, it's 365. You can see the basket up there. So he threw it at the right angle, but I think it tapped that tree and well, fell folks, down. Uh, if you ever play disc golf or ball golf, you know that if you hit it into pine trees, they never go through. They always hit and just fall. Why would you try to throw it through that tree? All right, I'm gonna throw a, throw a Zeus right here. What do you think? Um, I'm not impressed, nor am I surprised. Appreciate that. I'll bend over and get it for you. Are you gonna film this? You got it. We're looking good right there. Should be good. Uh, the tree kind of blocked it. All right, it's Brock's second shot on hole number six. This is the eagle chip. This is a par three. Okay, this is a birdie. Wow, this is a par three? Yes. This sucks. All right. Got his buzz. It's gonna leave it just a little left. Uh, maybe a little long. Left it out left. Just a little short. Should be makeable. Oh. Leaves it just a low. For his first bogey of the day. Drops him down to one over, or one under, sorry. My sports sack hasn't come in yet. I can't dry my hands off. Grip locking everything. And right, good part. Par tap in. I'm gonna have my first tee box of the day. This is usually what happens. I'll gain like one tee box on you and then I'll keep it for two or three holes. And then I'll just never see the tee box again. <laughs> but all right, moving on to hole number seven. I'm still at even and Brock had dropped to one under. So uh, I'm, I'm right on his tails. So this is a little closer match than the last time. All right, hole seven, it's 375. This is a strange hole. I'm not even sure what it does. I just see a lot of trees in front of me. Where does it go? Straight to the right. Straight to the right. So as soon as you get around these trees right here, it's right down to the hill. So we got to throw a pretty huge forehand. Yeah, he took the tee box, so he gets to go first. You know, what sucks is I tucked this under my sleeve so I could record, and now this whole thing is sweaty as shit. <laughs> Oh no! And like I said about those pine oh, trees. Oh no, I like, thought I threw it over the tree. Like I said about those pine trees. You like, can't get out of them, man. No, you Shit. cannot. You hit and they just fall. Honestly, I threw that way further than I thought I was going to throw. <laughs> I mean, that fucking ripped out of my hands. You're going to see me do something I've never done before. It's I'm gonna... throwing a Raider. Uh, pretty overstable diff. But I'm also going forehand. Something you'll, <laughs> you won't hardly ever Yeah, he doesn't do. like to do the forehands. Oh, looking good if it comes back. And he threw that about as perfect as you can throw a forehand right here. Here's mine right here. Hit the top of this pine tree and drop straight down. Uh, I got to go around the pine trees right here. The basket is right down there. And he's throwing a thrower up the spider tree. Oh, hits the tree. And uh, stayed put right there. Like I said on the tee box, he threw it about as good as you could do. Right here in the middle of the fairway. Are you serious? Damn, hit that tree, dropped right Poor down. Little bitty limb? Yep. Really? This tree is cool as shit. I just wanted to show you guys that. Mmm. Does a forehand with a putter, which is not an easy shot at all if you know anything about disc golf. Uh, I'm going to be right here and see if I can somehow sidestep this. Ah, I left it a little left. I'm going to bogey and go to one over. Brock's bogeying going to even as we move on over to number eight. All right, so we're hole eight. Hole right eight. Here. 275 it's another dog leg right up uphill to the right 275 all right listen for the chains oh 
it God, was, was going to be good. It was on a fantastic line. Fuck. Oh, but. Lifted it a little too high. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> All right, Jim Carrey. Oh, my God. Lift it out, lift. What are you doing? All right, so Brock is right up against this tree right here. It smacked that tree, kind of came down. Uh, you guys can see the basket right there. That is no excuse. That is just awful. Two shots in a row is terrible. Mm, a little behind the basket. A little deep. Look good. Good line. All right, so Brock got an unlucky roll down the hill, a little bit under this tree, under the pines. Ooh, good run at it. He's gonna be able to tap that in for bogey right there. Brock will move to one over, and then if I can make this, I will stay at even as we move on over to hole number nine. Hits right. it high off the chains for bogey. I wish I could make 40 footers as easy as I make 10 footers. Shout out Paul McBeth. All right, so here we are walking up on hole nine, 273 foot par three. I thought it's, I was going to get around that tree. Yeah, I think it just hit that tree there. Yeah, it's not horrible. So. All right, so this man is the greatest uh, backhand player that I've ever met in my life. I've also only met one player in my life, so not much competition there. Uh, okay. Snagged that tree and went straight Might down. Might as well. I mean, what, yeah. else has we done? what else have we done today? Might as well hit a tree, right? Finish left. Might as well. Right underneath the basket. Really good. And here's Brock's par putt on the ninth hole to solidify him at one over for the front nine. And then we're going to take a break and go get something to drink because we're both really big and it's hot. Slams it in there for his par putt. Brock goes one over through the front nine. I've laid mine underneath the basket right here. I'm going to par mine to stay at even for the front nine. We went to the gas station to get drinks. That is the end of the first part of this video. We did the front nine. I finished at even. Brock finished at one over. Uh, he's probably going to take over the second half now that we got drinks and we both can get re-energized. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you guys have it. Going to be posting a ton of videos on this channel. Disc golf. Uh, we're going to be doing wiffle ball on the weekends. And it's just a fun time. So love you guys and see you in the next video.